In this video, I will show you how to set up Parod OS as a virtual machine in VirtualBox. But before that, let's take a look at some facts about Parod OS. It is a Debian based Linux distribution that comes in several flavors. For me as a pen tester, the security edition is very interesting, which by default has even more tools on board than Kali Linux, such as Ghidra. The home edition is suitable for everyday use, privacy protection and classic software development. There is even a special Hack the Box version, which is not surprising since Hack the Box is the main sponsor of Parrot OS. The cloud appliances are special editions of Parrot security designed for embedded devices, cloud environments, virtual machines and other specialized deployments. The Architect Edition is a completely green playground where nothing has been installed yet and you can completely customize it to your own liking. And yes, you can also make the Parrot sing on your Raspberry Pi. Parrot OS was developed by Lorenzo Faletra. The first official release was on April 10th, 2013 and since then Parrot has been continuously developed. Mate is offered as the default desktop environment, but other desktop environments such as XFCE and KDE can also be used. There are various mirror servers where you can also download the project. I have linked a mirror server from a friend of mine in the video description below. And why is this distribution called Parrot? Well, because it was born as a game and every pirate of the Seven Seas needs a parrot on his shoulders if he wants to board the galleons with his crew of jailbird filibusters. Okay, now let's start the installation of Parrot OS for VirtualBox. I have chosen the Security Edition. Click on the Download button to start the download. You have the choice between different options. You can either download an ISO file or a virtual appliance for VirtualBox. In this video we choose the second option and download the OVA file. In the meantime, open VirtualBox. After the download has been completed successfully, click on File at the top left corner and select the option Import Appliance. Click on the folder icon on the right and navigate to the location where you saved the previously downloaded OVA file. Then click on Next. Leave all settings as they are and click Finish. Now you have to accept the license agreement by clicking on Agree and you are done. In the upper right corner you can see that the appliance is being imported. This may take a few minutes. If everything has been imported successfully, the machine Parrot Security appears in the machine overview on the left. You can start it with a double click. Now Parrot OS starts. Wait a few seconds and welcome to Parrot OS. Since we are using a virtual appliance, we need to do a little setup work. First, let's change the password of the user we currently are, namely Parrot. The default password is just Parrot in lowercase. To do this, we start the terminal and enter the command passwd Parrot. We will be asked for the current password, which is parrot in lowercase. After that, we assign a secure password. Press enter, confirm the password, press enter again, and we are done. The password has been successfully updated. Finally, we exit the terminal with the command exit. Now we restart parrot. To do this, we click on menu at the bottom left corner and select the OFF button. Afterwards, we click on RESTART and the system will be restarted. But wait, why are we automatically logged in without being asked for a password? Well, we need to edit the LightDM configuration file. To edit the file, we enter the command sudo nano slash etsy slash lightdm slash lightdm.conf. Now you have to enter the password you just changed, press enter and then navigate down with the down arrow key until you reach the line auto login dash user equals parrot. Use a hashtag to make this line a comment, save your changes with control and S and exit nano with control and X. 
to quickly reboot the system without having to click on the menu bar at the bottom left again, simply enter the command reboot and the system will reboot. Now you are finally greeted with the eagerly awaited login screen. Enter your password, press enter and you are done. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching and see you next time.